As we already know, the tumor microenvironment is an essential part of cancer growth and invasion. To mimic carcinoma progression, we need a biologically relevant human tumor matrix. This is the only human tumor matrix-based in vitro invasion assay. Compared to the classical spheroid assay, this method is not as temperature sensitive and doesn't require spheroid transfer. This technique is suitable for patient-derived solid cancer samples such as head and neck carcinoma and can extend toward personalized medicine, including chemoradiation therapies. This human tumor-based matrix has already been used for several applications including high-throughput drug testing, live cell analysis, wound healing and transfer assays. The most technically sensitive step is the matrix handling after fibrinogen is added, so you may want first to practice this step with empty wells. It is important to show the proper handling of the matrix and it's easy to analyze by showing the method visually. For multicellular tumor spheroid generation, dispense 1 times 10 to the third cells from the cell line of interest in 50 microliters of complete medium into each well of a 96-well ultra-low attachment round bottom plate. Then place the plate into a 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide cell culture incubator for 4 days before visually confirming tumor spheroid formation with an inverted microscope. To set up a three-dimensional spheroid invasion assay, thaw human myoma-derived matrix on ice and thaw fibrinogen stock solution in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath. When the reagents have warmed, mix together the appropriate volumes of complete medium, human myoma-derived matrix, thrombin, aprotonin, and fibrinogen, adding the fibrinogen just before...